Wow. Michigan at the 41. What a hit! Ball's free! Football, the all-American sport that separates the boys from the men. My father and former South Carolina football player Ray Bingham was one of the top recruits in the 80s, but in the first game of the season, he suffered an injury. In making the tackle, I went forward and uh, had the misfortune of breaking my neck. He was sent out on punt coverage, and when he made the tackle, he put his head down, forcing it into his stomach. Student athletic trainer Brianna Sass explained to me why this one tackle broke my father's neck. When he tackled straight down, his spine straightened out. So with the curve, the curve helps for like compression and like shock absorption. So when you get when you hit your head, it will like disperse fine. But if you hit your head straight on, there's no way for it to like absorb the shock. By putting his head down, he broke his C5 and C6 bones in his spine, causing him to wear a halo for six weeks and later undergo neck surgery. Back in the day, coaches used to tell their kids to spearhead, meaning like when you tackle, use your head to like force them down, but then that led to a lot of injuries. So now coaches are telling their kids they can tackle the side of shoulder so they won't have any like further injuries to like their neck. But what does this mean for future athletes? Recently retired NFL player Brett Favre told NBC's Today Show that if he had a son, he wouldn't let him play football because of the physical toll it would take on his body. Sometimes there is no way to prevent injuries, but my father is hopeful that no athlete will have to face what he did. I strongly believe in your, your toll from the beginning of football, keep your head up, keep your head up. And uh, my fault, I did not keep my head up. Fortunately, my father was not paralyzed, but the doctors told him he would never play football again. Taylor Bingham, Carolina News.